All right, welcome to LearnWire. Most of you have been joining along with me on this journey to create a website from scratch using only AI content on it. But I'm taking you from the very beginning, from the very start to literally niche research, um, all the way into keyword research, site structure, site map, all that good stuff and then we'll be building the website and so forth. So we've kind of already done these first three right here, planning the site out, right? So we've already got all the information we need to build a website. So then now we need to build our website, but we also need to go right here. And this is where we need to um, get domain, install, uh, get hosting, install WordPress, install theme. So these are things that you're going to need to be able to do in order to build a site. So this would be for new people or what we call newbies. Um, they are going to need to be able to do all this. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and actually show this on camera uh, because I want this to be like a free course um, or a free. I, I really want to give away value um, in this. Uh, I know that you guys have um, purchased a lot of products uh, via my affiliate links. I'm really grateful for that. And so in this, I um, someone mentioned this is like a, a premium course I'm giving away for free. And that's a good way of looking at it. Uh, this is something I could easily put together in a course and I would sell it. And I know that a lot of people would buy it, but I want, I don't want to leave anything out uh, for the most part. So I am going to go ahead and show that on camera. So let's begin. We're going to be, we're kind of in between. I don't know if I'm going to put this all in one video. Um, the theme, I think we'll probably do all this in this video right here. And then maybe we'll install uh, the popcorn theme and then we'll stop there. I think that that will be a long enough video. Um, so this uh, build website will actually be kind of like two videos, if that makes sense. So right here, um, this is kind of when we do these things right over here. All righty. So let's get started. I'm going to be using SiteGround and Namecheap. But before we do that, uh, we want to go over here to one of our favorite trusty tools that I'm showing you how I use this in my business daily. I don't write blog content with this, but it can do so much more if you think outside the box on how to use this. And in this case, we're going to get some uh, names um, that we can go for, right? So let's go over here and actually go to uh, GPT-4. And I'm just going to say, give me a list of 20 catchy domain names. And I don't know if it can do this, but I'm just going to say that are available to register on the niche, register for the niche uh, gardening for beginners. And let's just see what it'll come up with for us. So yeah, domain availability can change quickly. So I cannot guarantee that all these names will be available, but we're going to go and check these out. So it's going to write for us. And I don't know if um, there is one. I'm going to go and check, uh, check domain name bulk. So let's try that. And there should be a bulk uh, right here. Maybe GoDaddy is this one. You can check up to 2000 results. I'm not really sure. Okay, cool. So maybe this one works. Um, so we're going to go back over here and look at what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the 20 that ChatGPT gave us. Go back over here to the bulk. And, and I'm just doing this on the fly. I've never even done this part in particular before. Um, and if I have, it's been years since I've done this. So um, just showing you like how I think while I'm working. Let's go and then just go search Google, see if there's a bulk. Um, and I'm wondering if it'll charge us, if it's going to let us do this or not. And here we go. So 15 of your 20 domains are available. So all available, um, unavailable. Here's the five. Uh, new to gardening, uh, budding uh, gardeners. Uh, those are some pretty cool names, but we have 15 right off the bat that we can go and check and see which one we like. So I'm going to pause, look at these and then choose one. Okay. So there are a lot of really good ones. Actually, um, one of them, easygardenersguide.com looks really good, but it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I really want to keep it lower than that. So growing newbies, that one's good. Um, and then there's newbie greenery right here. Um, but rookie roots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That only has eleven. I think it's really brandable. RookieRoots.com. But I kind of want to get garden, uh, maybe garden rookie, gardening rookie. Let's try that. So we'll go back over, and we'll say, now give me uh, twenty more, um, with the uh, 
utilizing rookie, newbie, beginner, or something like that. Using these um, keywords, let's see what it'll come up with for us. Newbie garden guide, that might be good. So I like um, rookie roots, but I kind of think it should say gardening of some sort in there, right? Because um, the site that we're replicating does have gardening in the domain name as well. So we'll come back over here. Um, and what do you know? Are these all available? I'm not, I found that hard to believe, but let's go check these out. Oh, there, there we go. Gardening rookies, beginner garden pros, newbiegardenguide.com. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, we're going to go with newbie garden guide. Oh, here we go. Rookiegardeners.com. So rookie gardeners.com. I think I really like that one. And so see how we went through this whole process and we got 40 domain ideas right here. We came over here and most of them are available. Um, and then it, um, none of them were this one suggested. I actually came up with this one myself, came into Namecheap and just came up with this. Um, I liked rookie roots, but I wanted the word garden in there. So rookiegardeners.com or rookie gardening. Let's see if rookie gardening is available. So rookie gardening is also available, but here's the thing before I register this, uh, we also have that thing where we're going to have the word gardening and probably a lot of our content and our posts. And so then we kind of would be double dipping a little bit. So, um, and you're, you're seeing what I'm doing right here. You can overanalyze, um, you can completely overanalyze this, um, or you can just go ahead and pick one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one and move on. Okay. So I actually just landed on newbiegardening.com um, is what we're going to go with newbiegardening.com. I'm going to go ahead and not care that, because I think that the domain name itself, uh, telling Google and others that this is a site about gardening, I think is first and foremost important, but we also have a really good brandable domain, uh, reasonably short about a medium sized domain. I don't ever like to go above 20 characters uh, on the domains. I don't think it matters, but that's just something that I stick to. Cause I do think that uh, shorter domains are better. So newbiegardening.com kind of cool. Um, all you have to do is just add this to cart right here. Um, I don't go with any of this stuff. And the way that I'm going to build the site is that we don't need SSL. I get a free one with SiteGround. One of the um, advantages of paying for a better hosting as well. So I don't need to worry about SSL right here. Um, they kind of charge you up the wazoo for any of these additions over here. So I don't go with any of that stuff right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check out really um, quickly. And then we'll go and hook this up. All right. So I'm going to buy this domain right here. And you can see this uh, automatic coupon applied right now during recording this uh, video and this case study. Um, you can see right here, it says bloggers week. And so we're getting like half off the domain for the first year. So we're getting this domain for eight bucks. That's really, really cool. Normal price of domains now is $14 a year, um, depending on where you go. And that's on the cheap end. So um, I will... I think I have an affiliate link. I'll leave that below for Namecheap. And uh, during this, uh, you know, May 9th or somewhere around that area of 2023 for about a week, they are doing Bloggers Week. So you'll be able to get a special discount. So just wanted to point that out. Okay, perfect. So I just wanted to also point out that it is super easy to buy domains on Namecheap. Um, I've been using them for like 15 years and I have a ton of domains registered right here. You can see the list goes on. I mean, look at how many domains I have registered in here. And so I've been using Namecheap and I definitely use this. It's not just an affiliate link and I'm just recommending it. I actually use Namecheap. It's actually the only one that I use, uh, but they make it really easy to purchase and renew your domains and just really easy to manage your domains um, and transfer over um, to uh, send them to where you're going to be hosting them. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So all we're going to do is this, uh, this one that we just um, got, I'm just going to go over and click on the dashboard actually. And it's going to take me to my latest domain right here. And I'm just going to say manage. And we are inside of the uh, new domain right here. Okay. And then before we do this, because we need to get what our um, name servers are going to be, we're going to go back. We're going to go over here to site ground and there'll be links to all these tools below. These are the tools that I use to build um, dozens of websites. And right now I'm going to go over here and just go to new site and site ground. 
And SiteGround is not going to be your um, everyday blue host, you know, $4 a month uh, web web hosting. Um, this is going to be about 30, 25, 30 bucks a month for the medium size plan. Um, that's going to get you about 20 gigabytes of web space. Um, and their downtime is literally non-existent. Um, they are always, my websites are always up and running. It's a really good service, um, really good um, hosting and it's really easy to use and that's probably the even most important part and then it's super fast um, web hosting as well so we're going to go ahead and um, existing domain we already have a domain so i'm going to select this we're going to put in our domain name newbiegardening.com and push continue right here i'm going to show you how fast and easy this is to get this all set up and running for you guys so if you don't know you don't have any skills you don't know how to do any of this uh, you can just watch this free video on YouTube and you will be on your way to getting up uh, your first website up and running. So it'll take a second for it to find the site. All right, there we go. That took about maybe 45 seconds. Start new website or migrate a website. So we're going to um, install a new application, start new website. And we really just need a WordPress on this site. Um, we're going to have a set up a login right here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that the way it is. And a password is already um, generated right there. I'm definitely going to uh, have to pause the video to grab that password and we're going to push uh, continue. Okay. For, if you want extra protection, you know, there's free tools that can do this kind of stuff for you as well. If you're just getting started and you can't afford it, um, you know, to be honest with you, I could afford the site scanner. I think I've had it on my sites before. I really don't think it's necessary. So I usually just skip the site scanner because it's going to end up costing you. Um, how much is this? $29 a year for uh, your website. So it's actually not bad considering what it's going to do for you, but we're going to go ahead and skip that for now where um, you would have to push the add button, but we're just going to say finish right here. So it's creating our site. This will take two minutes or less, and then we'll get our uh, DNS or domain name servers. Um, and those are two numbers that we're going to have to grab and then go back into Namecheap to point our new domain over to SiteGround hosting, right? And it's super, super easy. A lot of people don't even get started building websites and installing a real WordPress uh, site and doing real professional hosting because they're uh, intimidated by it. They think it's too techy and it's too hard. And I'll tell you right now, it's really, really easy to do. All right, perfect. So I don't really need to um, hide these D, uh, name servers because they're the same for every site. Generally speaking, when you're with a hosting, uh, they have um, two main um, DNSs that they are going to give you. Um, so this is like public knowledge right here. So it's not like unique to every site, if that makes sense. So um, I don't really need to hide that. No one would be able to point this domain because it's registered in Namecheap and they would have to actually go, um, have to have access to my account in order to do this. But I'm gonna show you right here. So we're gonna grab naming server one. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back over to name uh, cheap. And we're just going to go over here to name cheap basic DNS. We're going to go over here and change it to custom. We're going to throw in uh, name server one, go back over here, grab name server two right here, copy back over and paste that into um, name server two. And then this little green check mark for save. That's very important. And that's all you have to do. You are done. Literally the site will be ready um, here soon. We have site tools. I'm going to show you real quick. So we're going to click on site tools. That's the next step. Now we're not going to be able to pull the site up. Um, you'll be able to see right here. The site is currently unavailable. Please um, select a different site or try again. We will have to try here in a few minutes for it to find the site and um, everything to uh, sync up. And it can take a few hours for it to actually um, load. Um, and But we should be able to go and install WordPress here in just a minute. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our site up here. And here's all my sites. They're all in here hosted by SiteGround, right? So I definitely use these tools that I'm uh, re recommending to you and that I have links to below. Okay, so we are going to, um, we did install WordPress, um, but I'm going to show you something that you need to do is go to site tools over here. And this is another reason why I love using um, SiteGround because we have our domain up here. And what I'm going to be able to do is come down here to security. I'm going to go over here to SSL manager. And we don't have to worry about anything. We just come over here and we go to let's encrypt right here. We select that and we say get. 
it's going to go out and it's going to, we get a free SSL certificate for as many websites uh, as we add to SiteGround. Um, and it just, it's really about, you can get these free, but we don't have to deal with uh, Cloudflare and all these different things that people do overcomplicate the process. Um, we are going to able, we're going to be able to get our SSL certificate up and running within five minutes. And it's the easiest process in way that I've ever seen um, to get an SSL um, up and running on your website. So this is why I bypass. Don't mess with it at Namecheap. Just do it on SiteGround if you're using SiteGround. Now, if you're using other hostings, uh, I don't really know what their process is. Um, I've had such problems with other hostings trying to get the SSL certificate, and there's all these uh, technical things you have to do, and it's just a nightmare. And so that's one of the e an another one of the reasons why SiteGround is my uh, hosting of choice is that they make th little things like this um, super, super easy in comparison to a lot of other hostings that I have hosters that I have used in, in, in the past. So your request is being processed right now. It's going out and getting our SSL certificate. We can go and, um, see if we can, I'm going to copy the domain. We'll see what it looks like right now newbie gardening and we already have this is um i don't have the time in the lower right hand corner because i don't really record that part of my screen anymore um, because it actually is helpful because it, it we're zoomed in a little bit further um but i can tell you right now that this was literally this has only been a couple minutes and we, uh, we already have wordpress installed our site is live right here um, you can see newbiegardening.com. And then right here, you'll see right here, this triangle, not secure. The site is not secure right now. This is an absolute no, no, right? You have to have the SSL certificate um, on your site where there's a little uh, lock um, right here. And so we'll go look and see what this says. Let's encrypt is installed for newbiegardening.com. Um, so we have that, but there's one important thing you have to do. It's not over yet, right? You have to come over here and go like this on these little three dots over here. Even though it says it's active, it's actually not uh, active yet. We got to come over to the three little dots and go enforce HTTPS. So now if we enforce that, it's going to process this and we have to toggle this on right here. Now it's on success. It is on now. We can go over here and it should refresh and it might take uh, 30 seconds to a, a couple minutes to a fix and then there we go right in front of you literally 15 20 seconds and now we have this little lock it is um, ssl uh, certified it is a uh, ready to go ssl uh, certificate uh, site so that is how we do all that the last thing um, i think that that's probably enough just um, finding our domain name f going over the process on how i did that bulk checking a bunch of domains. We're using AI throughout all of this and then going and actually using Namecheap to register our domain name and then going over to SiteGround, sign up for hosting, um, install WordPress, um, installed our uh, DNS servers um, and we matched everything back up. We installed WordPress and we installed the SSL certificate. So we are good to go. I'm going to end the video here and then the next video we will be going over, um, we will be installing the popcorn theme and then starting to build out the site structure and so forth, right? So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment so you don't miss out on this whole case study and how to build out a niche website. And then also, um, if you want to be in the drawing or the giveaway for uh, May 15th for um, a free piece of soft AI writing software. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.